Good morning all, it's post bag. Let's start with this one. And it is something that's red and blue. So these are DIP switches. DIP stands for Dual Inline Package. And uh, these are eight way switches marked one to eight. And I got them in both red and blue so that I could use them for different things. These, of course, are for the 8-bit breadboard computer. Uh, so these fit fine on these uh, low-cost breadboards. You do have to be a little bit careful because the uh, pins on these are fairly thin metal. I'm not quite sure what metal. Um, they're f a little bit fragile, um, but they're, they're, they're okay. They sit in the breadboard reasonably securely so that I can slide the switches without uh, the, the whole package sort of lifting itself up out of the breadboard. Um, so the switches are marked one to eight. It's unfortunate really that they're not marked zero to seven for computer applications. Uh, also it'd be better of course if zero was on the right because that's where you have your least significant bit and seven were on the left. But never mind, uh, this is how they're supplied. So here are the blue ones on eBay. These are 10 pieces slide type switch module 2.54 millimeter. That's the pin spacing. Eight bit, eight position, way, dip, blue, pitch. Uh, 10 pieces for $1.49, free shipping from Alice, 110, 1983. And uh, the red ones on eBay are a bit more interesting. We've got 10 pieces red, 2.5 millimeter pitch, switch, slideways, and all that stuff. Uh, dip, dual in line, but you can get them in uh, single, Double, triple, quadruple, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and twelve bit. That's absolutely massive. Um, different sizes. So I went for eight bit. Let's select that in the selection box. One dollar forty two. Free shipping. That's for ten pieces, of course. Alice again. And I was just thinking these might end up on the breadboard upside down, so that on uh, pulls low or something like that. I'm not quite sure yet. That puts the numbers the right way around, but of course it's still eight to one, not seven to zero. Bit of a shame. Maybe I'll, I could use that O of on as the zero and do something with that to make a seven, who knows. Right, next up is this one. It's very thin, there isn't much in here. And it's micro switches. And uh, I specifically wanted micro switches that would push into a breadboard. So I've picked these which have these small pins. Let's see if they do push into a breadboard. Don't even know what the pitch of the pins is. Right. Oh that's pretty good. Yeah the pitch is fine. They also seem to kind of lock in. I think on the ends of these pins there's an ever so slight tiny little indent. Have a closer look at that in a moment. But yeah that looks like that's, that fits fine. Now I'll probably go for two of these switches um, because I'm kind of thinking in order to move through the memory I might have an up switch and a down switch because if you've got, I don't know, uh, 1k of memory or something, pressing that a thousand times just to come back round in case you miss a step or something would be a bit torturous. So uh, yeah, probably uh, use an up-down counter and have an up button and a down button. Those are good, I like those. So these, of course, are single pole um, double throw and there is a common pin at the back there and a normally open and a normally closed. So that pin is now connected to common, uh, normally closed. And uh, is that right? Normally closed. Yeah. When it's in its relaxed state, that is the closed connection with common and that is the open connection. When you press it, of course, these reverse, that's closed and that's the open. But normally, like that, that's closed and that's open. And uh, you can see the little uh, shape of the pins there, which are very breadboard friendly. I do like those. So here are these switches on eBay. It's 11 pieces. 11 pieces? Did I get 11 pieces? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, I did. 11 pieces. That's really weird. Uh, one normally open, one normally closed, SPDT, single pole double throw, momentary, long hinge, lever, micro switches, 
rated for mains, but they certainly won't be used for mains by me. Uh, 99 cents for 11 pieces, free shipping, and these are from uh, CP3GO. And the next one is this, another very flat one. Whatever's in here is very thin. And it slide switches with kind of long pins suitable for breadboard. Right, so the idea behind the slide switch, oh, gosh, these are very tiny, aren't they? Um, is that the 555 timer would be able to switch between, yes, that does fit in there. It's a little bit wobbly, but, oh yes, that's the problem, of course, isn't it? When you try and slide it, it's going to tip. I'm going to have to slide one of these lots of times until it works its way loose. Um, yeah, so the idea is to slide switch between a free running 555 and a 555 which single steps uh, by use of this changeover switch, this uh, single pole double throw switch. So you can switch it to uh, free run mode where the clock will run the computer continuously or single step mode. I think they're going to be okay. They do slide around a bit. Uh, yes, for single stepping, single step. Now I probably won't put... Um, free running on the down counter because you don't actually want a computer to free run in reverse that wouldn't make a lot of sense so i'll put the switch on the up counter uh, so that you can click a single step up or free run up and then the down counter is just in case you miss a position in program memory while you're programming it yeah they look good and the slide switches are these, 20 pieces of an SS12D00G3, two position SPDT, uh, one pole, two throws, yeah, it's interesting, three pin PCB uh, panel mini vertical slide switch. So these are 20 pieces of this tiny little switch, but it is on a 0.1 inch uh, pitch, so that's good. 99 cents for those 20 pieces, free shipping, and these came from CZB, 672-1960. And finally this one which is in this old style paper envelope with a wraparound piece of string. Anyway this one has a very detailed detailed description which is 10 value 100 pieces 5 pin 9 pin whatever that says resistor network box kit. I think I'll just cut it as normal shan't bother to uh, unwind it and it's one of these small uh, boxes with Single in-line resistors. Uh, yes, right, IC Touch, very keen to have you know who supplied this. Uh, all labelled quite nicely and the little catch is taped down and the piece of tape actually has a bit folded back to make it easy for me to remove it. How nice is that? Okay, let's open this up. And we have some five pin uh, single in line resistors and some nine pin. Um, yeah, both types are in five different values 470 ohms, 1k, 4k7, 10k, and 47k. Uh, nine pin, of course, will be used for the eight bit switches. Well, let's put a couple of these in the breadboard and see what they look like. So, the eight pin switch or the eight bit switch um, that's going to be used to write to the RAM. The program memory on my computer uh, will probably have one set of eight resistors that's why these are nine pins because you've got eight resistors on the eight pins uh, which don't have the dot I'll show that in a moment the resistors are all mounted vertically they're probably like little surface mount resistors and then there's a bus bar that runs across the top and goes to the ninth pin so that's where they're all common together so probably I'll have one of these sills single in line uh, resistor packs pulling one side of the switch up to 5 volts and on the other side uh, another one, possibly a different value, pulling all these pins down to ground, something like that. Right, so here's one of the 9 pin resistor packs. You can see the little resistors that are sitting underneath this epoxy uh, coating or this resin coating. Uh, there are 8 of them on these 8 pins and then on the ninth pin which is marked with a dot, or in this case a little diamond, there is a wire that commons the top of all the eight resistors together and leads out to the ninth pin. Uh, this is a 103, so that's a 10K. 
But uh, these are perfect for this sort of thing where you need a lot of resistors, one per uh, bit on your bus, uh, in a very, very small space. But of course, one side of all the resistors is common to the common pin. As long as it fits that criteria, then these SIL resistor packs are perfect. So this item on eBay is a 10 value, 100 pieces, uh, resistor network. They haven't put SIL here. They're often called SIL, SIL, single in line resistor packs or networks. Uh, five pin and nine pin assortment box kit. So this kit was $12.99, actually quite expensive, but it is very nicely presented. Uh, free shipping, and this came from IC Touch. So these uh, switches and resistors are all parts that I've been waiting for to extend my breadboard computer uh, to get it to the point where we can single step. Now this was the micro switch that I soldered to um, a pin header. Don't need to do that now with these micro switches. Um, to get it to uh, so that we can single step uh, forwards and backwards through the memory locations and then with the dip switches enter 8-bit data into those memory locations which are the program commands. So I think this afternoon I'm going to uh, move this and lay it all out on this larger uh, double breadboard and see if I can get all of that working where we can actually uh, fill this program memory with data or instructions. And so these are today's post bag items. Now another couple of videos up there. And if you want to subscribe to my channel, then uh, click this icon of my face here. And this one takes you through to Patreon. So a huge thanks as usual to Patreon supporters who make these post bag videos uh, not so much possible, but more frequent. I can do more, more quickly with your support. So thanks very much, patrons. Cheerio.